It's no secret that the Buffalo Bills need to find ways to crunch numbers and they need to become cap compliant before the 2024 season begins. And they're reportedly expected to release running back Naeem Hines later this week, according to Adam Schefter. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varko, and today, some news surrounding the Buffalo Bills and Naeem Hines, and we're going to dive into all that, but really, there's a lot of stuff that's going to transpire with this Bills team as they need to get back under that salary cap limit number, and they've got a lot of work to do in order to get to that number. It's going to be a long offseason with lots of moves, hopefully some trades, the draft coming up, so there's going to be lots of content coming here on the Bills Bunker, so if you haven't yet... I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more content coming your way because I'll be right here covering all the news as it happens with the Bills. And let's dive into this video. With the expected release of running back Naeem Hines, the Bills will free up approximately $4.6 million in cap space, which should be very useful for this team as they look to get back under the salary cap limit to add to their squad via free agency, via trade, and through the draft. The 27-year-old running back was acquired by the Bills via trade from Indianapolis ahead of the 2022 NFL trade deadline, and they were, they got him in exchange for Zach Moss and a fifth-round draft pick. And when you look back on that trade, you could probably say that the Indianapolis Colts might have won that trade simply based off the production that Zach Moss had last season behind Jonathan Taylor and when Jonathan Taylor was missing and how Naeem Hines... He missed the season due to an ACL injury that he suffered before the season even started on a jet ski in a freak accident. What the? So, I mean, that was a tough situation and it's going to be tough for Naeem Hines as he's now, he's expected to be cut by the Bills. He's got to find a new home before the season starts. He had surgery on that ACL and that's never an easy thing to recover from. Missed out on a lot of money and, an, and a whole season with the Bills. That's tough. Obviously the Bills would have liked to get more in return. Looking back, they would have liked to get more from Naeem Hines in his short-lived time in Buffalo. It was a very short-lived stint in Buffalo, but during his time on the field, he showcased how electrifying he can be as a kick returner. I mean... It was like some storybook stuff. Some stuff of destiny. The very first play after the DeMar Hamlin incident, he goes and takes a house call, kick return touchdown against the New England Patriots. And he didn't he didn't stop there. He did it again later that game. Two kick return touchdowns in one game. That was electrifying and really it felt like he was becoming a fan favorite in Buffalo right after that happened and he gets the contract extension the following offseason, last offseason that would have been, and didn't suit up for the Bills at all this year, suffering that injury on his jet ski. I'm sure he regret I'm sure he's regretting that right now. Nothing you can do about the past. It sucks. But I'm I'm certain that a team's gonna take a shot at like you're gonna get Naeem Hines at a cheap price now. I'm sure there's a team out there that's willing to take the risk, low risk, high reward, picking up Naeem Hines from free agency. He's expected to be able to return by the time training camp happens, so I'm sure there's a team out there that's going to go out there and pick him up. Probably not going to be the Buffalo Bills, though, after they cut him. Probably a little bit of sour tension between the two sides. Things didn't work out as planned, but he gave the Bills fan base... A really good memory, uh, especially when the team was down. That was a tough tough time surrounding that DeMar Hamlin stuff, and Naeem Hines, the very first play back, bam. It was almost like it was scripted. It's not, though. You sure about that? You sure about that? It sucks, but that's just part of the business. It's a cutthroat industry, and these are the moves that the Bills are going to have to make. I'm expecting more cuts to come. And more videos just like this, talking about the player, talking about the repercussions. And I think the biggest takeaway here is the fact that the Bills, they get $4.6 million, approximately $4.6 million in cap space. Something that they really need 
this team is desperate for money right now. So they'll clear it in any way they can. And I'm expecting some contract restructures. Some Might see some trades. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening with this team as they need to get cap compliant again. And I'm going to be here on the Bills Bunker covering all of it. So if you haven't yet, I encourage you to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned. As always, I'm Jake Varco. Go Bills.